Hi, it's Steffi from Steffi's Beads and Bobbles. I don't know if you can tell, but I've had a cold all week, and that's why a new ornament video has not come out yet. Um, I have been working on the project, and I'm hoping to film in a day or two when I get my voice back. But I have enough voice to do my vintage bead box, and this is the August 1st one, and it's uh, sunflowers. Um, they're inspired by art. So we'll see... It says, in honor of artists and artisans, we will be featuring many handcrafted beads and a variety of materials. Glazed ceramic, wrapped paper, art glass, including millefori, lamp work, and hand-painted wood. We'll also be including August Burstone Peridot, as well as colors inspired by the works of Van Gogh, like golden yellow, golden sunflower yellow, deep blues, and greens. Next month's theme will be Pink Ladies Classic number 1950s. So let's see what we think. The last couple months I haven't been as excited, but I'm hopeful that maybe this one will be good and as usual had the little paper crumbles and then they've got their little August theme on there and let me take the box out of the picture and let's see what they sent us All right. well it doesn't immediately scream sunflowers to me but let's see well, this is some lamp work beads. Let's see. I'm hoping that I can. Let me get my camera. I might have to hold my camera for this and put it right under the light. I will show you why I can't work on my workbench today. These are like an olive green. Yeah, they're kind of an olivey, little little brighter than olive green with uh, gold stripes. These are a ceramic bead. What do they say? This says ceramic. Again, I don't see sunflowers. These are metal spacer beads in a gold. You can probably hear Max in the background again. Here's the peridot beads. I can see those real good. These are millefori beads. These are wood beads in a blue. These are stone beads in different colors. And acrylic beads in yellow. Well, the beads are nice. I don't think they're worth $25. And I think I'll get my last box next week, next month, and call it quits with them. I don't think for 25 bucks I'm getting much for my money. Um, uh, the only thing that screams sunflower to me is the yellow. Nothing else here is sunflower. Um, I mean, these are blue. These are green. Um, I don't know. I'm not real impressed. The beads are nice. They're all nice quality. I like all the beads. Unlike some of them, I really do like all of these, but they don't scream sunflower to me. And like some of the other months, I don't really see how I could use many of these together. Very interesting. I find it fascinating when they give you three. I guess an earring set in a necklace or bracelet. I don't know, but I'll show you what I've been up to. This week, while I've been getting over my cold, um, let me take you over here, hide you for a minute. This is my cookie cutter haul. I mean, not haul, my collection. Um, I'm going to be doing a video on all my cookie cutters, but let me pull back so you can see. And this is seriously all my cookie cutters in bags. They were in a big drawer, and I took them out and went through them and trying to figure out how in the world I'm going to do a video on this many cookie cutters. While I was waiting for that, to figure that out, I've been working on trees. I just made up three fronts and I'm sewing them together um, to put these in my Etsy shop. And I've been trying to finish up some of the other projects from past videos that I've still got to finish 
And I'll probably put most of these in my Etsy shop as well. I think I've got some polar bears, cardinals. So I've just been working on these little things, trying to get them done, and then my new project on top of it. So I hope uh, I hope you enjoyed your week and had a good one. Mine wasn't bad. I just had this cold. can barely talk right now. But I wanted to get this little video out and explain to you why my video hasn't been up. But I've got everything ready to go. And as soon as I can talk for 30-40 minutes, I'm going to be doing a detailed tutorial on this new Christmas ornament. But in the meantime, I've got two more trees to beat around. And then I'll work on those yellow and that pink one. Like I said, I've got polar bears and all kinds of stuff stacked up in those I don't know if you can see the paper plates over there. Right there. Those are all my pro projects. So, that's what I've been up to this week when I haven't been just sitting on the couch. But yeah, this is, this is all my, this is just Christmas in this big bag here. So, lots and lots of ornaments. When I did the count, it was over 700. I'm not sure exactly I'm going to recount but somewhere between 700 and 750, I, I don't know. But it's definitely over 700. So, it's a lot of cookie cutters. And I was shocked, and I've actually got six more on their way. So, <clears throat> I think some of the ones, actually more than that, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on their way. And one of the sets you guys are going to be very excited about. And they're going to be some of my newer Christmas ornaments I'm going to be doing. But anyway, so that's what I've been up to. Going through my cookie cutters. Doing these ornaments. And just trying to be productive when I wasn't feeling good. So I will be back soon. I'm hoping by Sunday I can do the ornament tutorial. And I will do a full tutorial um, on this one uh, to make sure that everybody understands every step. Um, it'll be a long tutorial because there's a lot of moving parts on this new ornament. So, But I think you guys will like it. It's one I actually made last year and never got a chance to do. But in fairness, it was my first year, my first Christmas, and I was getting my bearings. So this year I hope to do a lot more Christmas ornaments. But anyway, I'm kind of gravelly. It's hard to talk. I'm going to let you go. Thanks to everyone that's been checking on me. My husband's doing great. Three weeks today. He's healing up nicely. And we have three weeks till he goes back in for his final checkup with the surgeon. And he's doing wonderful. So uh, thanks again for everybody that, that asked about him. And I'll be back in a few days. At the most, I'm hoping by Sunday, this is Friday, hoping by Sunday I'll be back. But as soon as I have my voice, either tomorrow or Sunday, um, I'll be back to do that tutorial. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.